Zone 2 is all the rage. Probably the most overused term in the history of endurance sports. And unfortunately, a lot of people that have thrown the term around have a very limited understanding of exactly what it is, what it does, and exactly how much of it they really need to do. The top of your zone two is this very fine line that is your lactate threshold one. The only way that you can scientifically work it out is by using a lactate or a VO2 test at various levels. Well, Zone 2 makes you aerobically fitter. Your mitochondria, which are the powerhouses of your cell, increase in number and become more efficient as well. And because of that, you get more efficient at oxidizing fat as a fuel source and breaking down lactate. Yeah, that's right. You increase your lactate thresholds, both of them. This easy endurance-based training also increases your blood plasma volume too, which is the amount of fluid in your blood. Because of this, your body in turn creates more red blood cells, perfect for moving more oxygen around your body to all of your muscles. Really, zone two is about using the oxygen that you take in more effectively and efficiently. How much zone two do you actually need to do? For the full video, check out the link in the description or find it on our YouTube channel.